I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we'll learn strategy to write equation of a plane from given condition. The question here is how to write equation of a plane with same magnitude of x, y and z intercepts. That's the question for you. So it's kind of a general question. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Uh, let me first sketch let us say uh, that is our x, y, z in plane, right? So let me write down uh, x, y, and z. When we say same magnitude of x and y and z intercepts, for simplicity, I'll take points which are one unit away, right? So let's say one unit away. So these are my three points. Joining these three points, that triangle which you get is actually a plane, right? So this is this is a plane. It could be extended in all directions to have a plane, right? So you can think about a plane kind of like this. Right? You could think about a plane kind of like this. Do you get an idea? And these are the three points on the plane, correct? So that's the figure which gives you an idea of this question. So for simplicity, we are taking these points one unit away, right? One unit away. So when I write one like this, it really means one, zero, zero. Does it make sense to you? Zero, one, zero, and this will be zero, zero, one. Is it okay? So these are the three intercepts, x, y, and z intercepts. Now the question is, since they are same distance away, right? We need to write equation of a plane, right? That's how it is. Okay. Now, some of you may know that equation of a plane with intercepts is what? For them, this, sim this question is very simple. It is x over a plus y over b plus z over c equals to 1 and since magnitude a b c these are the magnitudes of x y and z intercepts we have taken as 1 so the answer for us will be will be x plus y plus z equal to 1 that is the equation of the plane we can call this plane as pi 1 do you see that okay pi 1 so I'm calling this plane as pi 1 and that's the equation of this plane. So it's as simple as that. Given the intercepts, you can easily find the equation using this particular method. Now those of you who have not been taught this equation, for them will follow different methods. So the method here is, uh, we are given the points, right? So let's say these points are A, B, and C. Let's call them A, B, and C, these three points. So we can find these two directions cross multiply to get the normal, use the third point to find the equation of the plane, right? So that involves few steps, however, you'll get your answer, right? So let's do that. So what is AB equals to? So the AB direction uh, is 0 minus 1. So let me write this as 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, and 0 minus 0 is, is it okay? Okay. Now, what is uh, AC or you can say BC, whatever, you could do either one of them, doesn't matter. Let's say what is AC equals to. So AC will be equals to 0 minus 1 as minus 1, 0 minus 0 as 0, and 1 minus this as 1. Is it okay? To get the normal, we'll cross multiply AB and AC. Correct. So if you cross multiply, you can use different methods. So let's let me use matrix method. We have i j k. So a b is minus one one zero. This is minus one zero one. We get i. Let me write it. Use some space. Save some space. I. This times this is one minus zero minus j. This is minus 1, minus of minus is plus 1. Okay, so A, 
okay so for j it is minus 1 and this is 0 I'm sorry yeah this uh, 0 and then for k which is plus k this is 0 when you multiply minus minus becomes plus 1 is it okay so what you get here is 1 times you get i minus minus makes it plus you get j and here you get plus k do you see this these are the unit vectors in the direction of i j k so basically the normal is you can write this normal uh, will be from here we can write this as 1 1 1 correct now if the normal is 1 1 1 what is the Cartesian equation right this is the normal so the Cartesian equation of the plane let's say pi will be ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0 if I substitute 1 what do I get I get x plus y plus z plus d equals to 0 right to find the value of d we can use any coordinate point right so let's do that running out of space here anyway so let's say d uh, so we'll just use the point let's use the point let's say b okay which is 0 1 0 right 0 1 0 it is on this plane so we can substitute this point so if I substitute that point 0 then I get b uh, we are using x 0 I mean here x y z plus d equals to 0 so if I write 0 1 0 I get this equation as this implies 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus d equals to equals to 0 or d equals to minus 1 does it make sense to you right and therefore the equation is of the plane could be written as x plus y plus z minus 1 equal to 0 is that okay we're just same correct so so we get the same equation following the method which most of you know right however this is extremely good method provided you know the formula right okay so this formula is a valid formula which is in the intercept form for our equation of a line we have x over a plus y over b equals to 1 for a plane it is x over a plus y over b plus z over c equals to 1 so there is some correlation I'm Adil Kumar and I hope that gives you good help you can always like my videos share with them share with your friends and feel free to write comments thank you and all the best